Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get multiple checkerboard outfits in GTA 5 online and this is a workaround method so I'm going to show you a way you can keep these checkerboard outfits and stop them from disappearing in your session. Uh, so just like this, it will stay on completely. So I hope you do find this video helpful and if you did, of course, a like would be much appreciated so feel free to leave one, it helps out massively. Also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And that's all up to you though. Before we get into it, shout out to all of these people for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. So to start off with this, first of all you want to come to any clothing store on the map, it can be anyone. It doesn't matter which one, just go to one. And then you will need to put all your money into your bank. So this is how much you'll need. Once you've put it in your bank, all you need to do from here is you want to equip the outfit you would like to keep, as by doing a glitch, all your saved outfits will be deleted, and then just delete all your saved outfits yourself, just to make sure nothing goes wrong, but they do get deleted regardless, even if you try and keep them. But from here, go to swap character. Now in this menu, you will need to make sure your main character is a male and it is on the left slot, or else it won't work. Then in the right slot you need to make a new female character and if you do get an alert just accept the alert. In this menu just set it to a female then hit save and continue, name the character anything, take a photo and you should load into a public session. I do just want to mention if you're loading in and you get an alert that says error joining session what you'll need to do is you'll need to go back to choose character, you'll need to delete the female then go back to story mode and start up an online session and you end up back on your mail and then just start from step one uh, because it won't work if you have that error joining session. It happens to me sometimes and you just need to restart from the beginning. Um, but anyway, if you just load in normally, which I did here, you just want to check to see if you have clothing stores on your map. If you don't, just find a new session. Now before we carry on with the video, I do just want to quickly mention if you guys would like any of your own modded accounts that come with modded outfits on them and plenty of cash and RP, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These modded accounts come with cash ranging from 50 million all the way to 1 billion and almost all of the modded accounts now are 100% cash so no need for extra cars and deluxos. They also offer account boosts which are great because you can get an already existing account boosted with tons of money and RP. These guys have over 4,500 reviews on their official Trustpilot page and are by far the most highly reputable modders. There will be a link in the description and the pinned comment to this website uh, and also don't forget you can use my code TJRH for 5% off your order for a limited time only. Now when you load in you should notice you have clothing stores available so just go to one. At a clothing store first of all go to the back right of the store onto the accessories menu. Over here you just want to remove any earrings so most standard outfits come with earrings and then also any other accessories like leather straps like this outfit has here. Just take off all the accessories and then from here I'll be back when I've made all the outfits and then I'll go over them in depth and show you everything you need to equip. So the first outfit is going to be the checkered vest outfit with the black shirt underneath. And this one consists of two different outfits on the female character. So for the first one, you want to go to gloves, then equip the light woodland armoured. And we're going to use these gloves on all the outfits in this video. So just keep these gloves equipped. And then go to shoes, put on high heel boots and equip the deluxe midnight combat boots. Then from here, go to the pants section. On here, go onto jeans and then equip the black cropped jeans. So these ones here. And after you have those, go onto the top section, head down to sports tops. And you want to go for the grey racer back. So this one here. Then go to the front desk and you want to save this in slot number two. And name it the same as I do. So name all the outfits the same as I do in this video, uh, just so you don't get confused. Anyway, for the second half for this one, you want to keep the pants, gloves and shoes the same. But you want to go on tops and then head down to sports jackets. Then equip a sea green puffer jacket. And once you have this, go down to bustiers. Now on bustiers, equip the white lace bustier. So number 17. Then from here, if you want the checker glasses and hat, I'll show you what you need to equip. So if you want the checkered glasses, equip the copper marbles on casual glasses. And then if you want the checkered hat, go on to hats. Then go on to canvas hats and equip the grey blade canvas hat. And then from here, go ahead and save this. So we want to go to the front desk and then save this in slot number three. Name it checkered vest too, so the same as I do.
Now the next one is going to be the checkered one with the invisible arms. Uh, so this consists of two different outfits on the female as well. For the first one you want to equip uh, the same outfit that you made first in this video, so the checkered vest one. Equip that then go to shoes and then equip the high heels, the beige patent heels. So that's all you need to change from the outfit, so from here go ahead and save this. And you want to save this in slot number 4, name it checkered in 1. Then for the second one, we're going to change the top and the hats as well. Uh, so go on to the tops, then go on work jackets and equip the beach camo closed field. Then head down to tucked t-shirts. By the way, if for some reason the jacket's open, you can open up your interaction menu, go to style and jacket and set it to closed. So like I said, go up to tucked t-shirts and equip the blue digital t-shirt, so number 75. And from here, if you want the checkered glasses and hat, just go to copper marbles on casual glasses and equip those. Then go to canvas hats and equip the grey blade canvas hat. Once you've made this outfit, all you need to do is go ahead and save this. Uh, so you want to save this in slot number 5. Uh, name it checkered in for 2. Then after you have this, that's both of them done. Now for the next outfit, we're going to keep the hat and glasses on. Uh, keeping the pants the same and the gloves the same. But you want to go to tops and then head down to t-shirts. So up to t-shirts and then equip the mint t-shirt. So this here, the mint t-shirt, if for some reason you don't have this unlocked, you can just go down and equip the grey racer back uh, on sports tops. But from here, go to shoes, go on high heel boots, equip the deluxe midnight combat boots. And then just go ahead and save this in slot number 6. And then name this checkered t-shirt 1. Anyway though, for checkered t-shirt 2, we're going to keep everything the same, but we're going to change the top. So again, you want to go down to sports jackets, and then equip the sea green puffer jacket. Once you have this, go down to the bustiers, then go for the teal lace bustier. So this one here, teal lace bustier. And go ahead and save this in slot number 7. Name this one Checker T-shirt 2. And then that's both the outfits done for the Checker T-shirt. Now on to the next outfit. For this one you want to keep the pants and gloves the same. But we are going to change the shoes and the top. So go to shoes. Go on to uh, the high heel boots. You want to equip the Deluxe Vixen Combat Boots. So these ones. Then head over to the top section. And you want to head down to off shoulder tops. So on tops, so off shoulder tops, then go for the salmon striped top. Once you have this equipped, go ahead and save this. Make sure you save this in slot number 8. And once you have that saved, uh, the next outfit we keep everything the same. But once again, go on sports jackets and equip the sea green puffer jacket. So this one here. And after you have this, go down to bust ears. Then equip the white lace bustier once again. So number 17, the white lace bustier. Then go ahead and save this in slot number 9. And then of course name it the same as I do. Now I'm going to hover over each outfit just so you guys can check that your outfits do look the exact same as mine. Anyway, from here, once you have all the outfits saved, just take the easy way out using your interaction menu. This just forces the game to save. From here, open up your pause menu, go to online, and then start up creator. In this menu, press create a race, then create a land race. The title, description, and photo. They do not matter, so they can be anything. This is on race details. But you want to set max players to 3, and the route type to point to point. Also feel free to choose a supercar if you want to do this a little bit quicker. And then from here, just warp to the airport. Go on placement, place the trigger anywhere, and then take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now place checkpoints until the race 
is at least 0.62 miles long, so the red warning icon should go away at 0.62 miles. And there you go, once you've done that, just test the race. When you complete it, you should get this alert, so accept the alert, then open up your pause menu, go to online, choose character. In this menu, all you want to do is delete the female character, so make sure it is the female you are deleting. From here, if you're on next-gen consoles, what you need to do is join someone in an online session who's in a different targeting mode to you, and it should take you back to story mode. But if you're on old gen or PC, just press B just to back out to story mode, or escape, or whatever button it is for you. Next, you just want to open up your pause menu, then go to online and start up a new online invite only session. In online, you should spawn in with the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning, so go ahead and save this at the bottom so it's not number 20. Now, you should also notice all the outfits from the female have transferred over. So, to get these outfits, I'll show you how to get them now. Uh, so, first of all, you want to go up to biker suits and then equip the black biker suit for the gloves, or any of these will work for the gloves. They'll merge onto your outfits. From here though, you'll need a specific job, so open up your pause menu, go to online jobs, play job, go to bookmarked, then go down to missions and you'll need it's a G thing, so start this up if you have it. If you don't have it, you'll have to bookmark this on Social Club, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So bookmark it, restart your game and then start it up. In this menu, set a clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. In this menu, just scroll two to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now in the mission, you want to go to any of your apartments and then go to the wardrobe inside of your apartment. Now in your apartment wardrobe, you want to go ahead and save this outfit to the bottom, so slot number 19. Then you want to delete the two outfits that you used to make this one, so checkered vest 1, checkered vest 2. Then just quit a job using your phone. And then you'll notice you can equip this outfit using your interaction menu. As you can see it does disappear, but don't worry, after we've gotten all the outfits I'm going to show you how to make them stay and not disappear. But from here you just need to equip the black biker suit again, then start up it's a G thing and then set the clothing to player saved outfits and invite anyone and start it up. Just scroll two to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now from here just go to your apartment wardrobe. From here you want to go ahead and save this to slot number 18, so at the bottom, out of the way of the other outfits, and then you can quit the job using your phone. Also before we go on to make the next outfit, make sure you delete the two outfits that you used uh, to make that checkered invis one. So delete checkered inv one and inv two. Then from here, equip the black biker suit, then start up it's a G thing, do the same again, so invite anyone, um, but set it to player saved outfits. Scroll two to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now in the mission, just go to one of your apartment wardrobes. In here, just go ahead and save this at the bottom, so to slot number 17. 
and then just make sure you delete the two outfits that you use to make this so delete checkered t-shirt one and checkered t-shirt two and quit the job using your phone now to get the last outfit just keep your black biker suit on and then start up it's a g thing once again Now do the usual, so set the clothing to player saved outfits and then invite anyone and start this up. From here just scroll two to the right on owned outfit and then ready up. Now in the mission just do the same as usual, so go to your apartment wardrobe. Over here just go ahead and save this outfit so you can save this in any slot now since it is the last outfit. Uh, so save it anywhere and then quit the job using your phone. And there you go, that's all the outfits done. So now in a minute I am going to show you how to make sure these stick. So as you can see they do disappear. I'm going to show you a way to make them stick and stay. So to do this what you need to do is you need to come to your Kosaka. So make sure you go to your Kosaka and then you want to register as a CEO and go to the scuba gear section over here. So make sure you are a CEO. Go to your style outfits and hover over your checkerboard outfit, then equip it and then press right D-pad to get on the scuba gear. Then go to your CEO style, switch one to the right, then back out of this interaction menu, press right on the D-pad and you should end up having this checkerboard outfit, whichever one you used. And there you go, this will now stick for your entire session, it won't disappear. Uh, so the only thing is, you'll have to do this uh, anytime you find a new session or, or if you quit the game. But yeah, this will completely stick, it's not going to disappear. So uh, anyway, that's it done, that's all the outfits for this video. So I hope you did enjoy or find this helpful. If you did, a like would be massively appreciated. Also, if you made it this far into the video, just comment down below, red helicopter, and I'll try and hide your comment. Anyway, thank you for watching, have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.